hi guys oh my gosh happy new year this is the first time i've picked up my camera in what feels like forever if you follow me on instagram you would have seen that i've spent the last three weeks in wa it was such a good time um but it felt really weird because i did not bring a camera on that trip i was like no lola you're not filming anything i literally forced myself and it was honestly kind of hard part of me did feel guilty because it was like such a beautiful trip and we were doing such fun things but i needed the break so badly towards the end of last year i was just like so incredibly burnt out so it feels really really good entering the new year feeling light and refreshed and just like so re-inspired again anyways i've just gotten home from my pilates class showered and gotten ready for the day this week's video is going to be a small business diaries i have lots going on at the moment i have a ton of orders to pack from when i was away um and then i have an event that i'm launching <laughs> so exciting i'll talk more about it to you guys later on i also have a shoot for a new product that i'm coming out with in a week or two um yeah it's gonna be a really fun episode i've just lost my train of thought anyway let's go up to the studio <laughs> First up, I have a set of crochet coasters to send off. I honestly can't remember if I showed you guys these in depth, but these are still available on my site. They're from the Daydream collection, and I think they're just like the cutest addition to any home. Each set comes with four coasters, so cute. A bit of a mix match vibe, but they just look really sweet on a coffee table, or I even have one on my bedside table. I'm gonna start by packaging this one up. I very rarely run discount codes on my website. I actually did run one during the period that I was over in WA um, it was just for free express shipping on all orders because this time around because I wasn't gone for a long period of time I didn't have someone sending my orders out for me so as a bit of an incentive for people to still order um, whilst I was away I just ran the free shipping code so all of these orders have come with free shipping so cute I feel like I need to make you guys a little higher up there we go. I look like an absolute egg today. You wouldn't believe it, but I spontaneously got bangs cutting WA and they're doing my head in a little bit. I feel like they're not very suited to my lifestyle, hence why they're slicked back with like lots of product right now. Has so very kindly offered to drop the boxes at the post office for me. <laughs> Al just got home from the post office with some packages, so I thought we could open them together. I'm gonna bring you guys in a little closer. First up, we've got Seventh and York, a small business I love. I actually put them in my small business gift guide um, for Christmas. Very cute packaging though. I don't know what it is about today, but I'm so tired. So if I'm seeming a little low energy, um, I'm really sorry about it. Oh my God, the packaging for this is like insane. Inside this little envelope, still Alita, thank you for your support, your business, and all you have created is a huge inspiration to us. Love, Amelia and the seventh in your team. Ah! Let's pretend my room is clean, but look how cute. Ow! <laughs> You're being crazy. But look how cute this set is. This color is insane. I love it. A box from my other small business friend. This is from Stacy. She's a ceramic artist. Um, and I think that this was just like a belated Christmas present. She said it was to say thank you for all of the support over the year. Yo, he's gonna go crazy for these peanuts. I've just got the peanuts everywhere. 
the good thing is I'm gonna reuse all of these for my orders. So thanks, Stacey. <laughs> Those two things in here. Definitely was not expecting them. Somebody's knocking at the door. I'm back. Two months. I definitely wasn't expecting to be this spoiled. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's just so good. And she's engraved my name onto the bottom of them. <laughs> wow, very, very grateful. And a chunky mug. I love this design of hers so much. I think it's so cute and just like chunky and fun. Thank you so much, Stacey. These are beautiful. I'm gonna tidy up this mess that I've made and I'll speak to you guys in a little minute. had a much slower start to the day than I would on a regular Thursday. I was going to go to Pilates, but I was just like feeling a little bit meh this morning. So I decided to just go for a walk on the beach instead. We also went for a swim afterwards, which was so nice. I think I'm just so exhausted. And I always forget that it takes me about a week to kind of get back into the swing of things and routine and stuff. But I just went to the grocery store. So I'm going to give you guys a grocery haul. A bag of cobs. We always get this when it's on sale. Three punnets of blueberries. My absolute fave. A bunch of mushrooms. More of the nut and seed mix because I want to make bircher this week. And I also got some Granny Smith apples to grate into the bircher. A capsicum and an avo. A bunch of carrots because they're such a good snack. And I got some hummus. I'll show you guys in a second. Some baby cucumbers because these are so much better than regular cucumbers. Some bacon and also a carton of eggs. Oh, we got these new bagels. I have never bought bagels from a month before. But these looked really good. Cold fermented sourdough bagels with rye and caraway. We got two dips. Um, this Yomas brand is so good. He's coming to join Rocket and Pesto Hummus. And then we also got a sweet potato and roasted cashew dip. My favorite yogurt for the Bircher Muesli. This is the Queensland natural one. Rhubarb flavor. You must try it. Bloomy for brekkie bagels. And then some green feta stuffed olives, kind of random, but they were so good. Big bunch of bananas. And this one was very sporadic. I just walked past and thought, I don't have a black headband. And seeing as I'm like trying to figure out my bangs, I feel like when my hair is oily and they're not styled, <laughs> you in the background, I can't. I feel like a headband like this will just be like really easy to throw on and kind of make me look semi put together. Oh my god, I can't with this guy. <laughs> Lastly, we grabbed some ice cube trays. We got a new fridge. I don't know if you noticed. We used to have this silver fridge. It broke recently. So we got this cheap one off Facebook Marketplace. It was literally a few hundred dollars because we're moving to Europe in May. So in like four months. So we just wanted something to tie us over. We didn't want to like spend a ton of money on something fancy or new. And I'm kind of bummed. This freezer doesn't have a little ice cube twister. So I had to get some ice cube trays and that is everything that we got <laughs> lol my brekkie is a little bit random but i really felt like a cucumber and some of the olives our brekkie's ready right most people were raised by their aunts and uncles as much as their parents and today we find us living One, in two, smaller three, places. Four. Good morning, guys. Isn't this dress such a flashback? The old with Jean. I um, found it on Depop the other day and bought it because I just love this shape of dress. I think it's so flattering. Hack. Use your claw clip as a comb. It works so well. <laughs> I don't know how good it is for your hair actually, but it works. I don't even know if I've told you guys yet, but I'm hoping to shoot my matcha collection. Oh my god, I haven't even told you guys. I've done a matcha collection. Basically, I've made these little matcha bowls with spouts to pour your matcha into the glass. Um, and then I've got a little Japanese whisk and matcha spoon and then they come with like a sample of my favorite matcha as well Which is like amazing. So it's actually a really good deal But I need to shoot the content for it tomorrow and I've had this campaign idea in my head for so long literally months I'm really hating 
the layers I got done in my hair in WA. Um, I just feel like for my lifestyle of like beach Pilates, like I don't have time to dice in my hair and make it look pretty every single day. I suck at girling. Tiva Slay, don't look at my messy room. It's a representation of my brain right now. Before I leave, I have a few orders that I need to get out that came in last night. Just a few towels and another cute little coaster set. Just got back from the shops. I thought I'd give you guys a haul of what I got. Mainly just the props and things that I got for my shoot tomorrow. Starting off with, I went to Best and Less. I found these really cute little undies. They're like definitely granny panties, but I think they'll be really cute for what I have in mind. Um, and then I also got this blue pair because the matcha ball is like this kind of blue. I also got some different embroidery yarns and and some sewing needles because I want to embroid Lolita onto these undies, like on the bum or something. I don't know which color I'm gonna use yet, but I just wanted to have the option. I then also got two tops. Not sure which one I'm going to use, but I got this cute bedtime tee. It's just from Cotton On Body, but I'll try and show you guys. It's got like a really sweet scalloped edge. And then also from Cotton On Body, the other option is just this singlet with buttons down it. I think that will look sweet. I got two different types of command hooks because I bought this mosquito net to go on the roof to drape over the bed. And I don't know which one I'll need. So I just wanted to have both because you don't want to be rushing to the shops on a shoot day. It's so annoying. And then I also got some honey and some more almond milk because we're going to be making a lot of matcha. That was everything. Okay, bye. Okay, this was the inspo. <laughs> <laughs> um, a cuckoo intimate that had embroidered for Matilda and then this was a spell slash wolf club um, collab that's a little bit better um, but I just like wrote out Lolita in cursive on Canva wow it looks really shit on camera actually but this is my first outline of the undies and you can't really see the full stop here so it's a little bit of a work in progress <laughs> I'm really happy with this for my first time I'm not a sewer either, so let's keep that in mind. I'm gonna pause for a little bit and go and get dinner started, and then I'll probably show you the finished product tomorrow. It is shoot day, and I have everything packed and ready. I'm gonna head there now. Loki, so tired. I stayed up so late <laughs> perfecting those undies. I really hope I can use them in a way that they actually do it justice, because I don't want to take a photo of like just that, you know. So I want to be able to use them in like a cute subtle way i don't know i need to figure it out i just think details like that are so cute Woke up in so these are the options still undecided but look how good the embroidery turned out i'm actually kind of proud it makes me want to come out with undies but guys it's not happening <laughs> this is the setup it's actually perfect. How adorable. I've been forgetting to film. So pretty. your goals and then once that kind of wears off you kind of left just being like okay what now and I related so much to it not that I like don't know how to get what I want but more so I'm just like overwhelmed because I find I sometimes set myself like really unrealistic ex expectations 
and I want to do like 50 million things in a week or in such a short time span and it's not always realistic or achievable and then I get sad when I don't do it. I had a big fat journal this morning and went to the beach. It was really nice. Alex and I watched the movie Starts on Netflix last night and I feel like that was the perfect thing that I kind of needed to hear at the time. It just had so many amazing tools scattered throughout it. If you don't know what it is, I can leave it linked down below for you guys, but no particular order. Margo Lee's journaling brand posted some journaling prompts on it. So I did those this morning and I'm definitely feeling a little bit clearer. I've just finished editing this vlog and I feel like I need to properly fill you in about my Melbourne event because I posted it on my Instagram about two weeks ago now and if I'm being honest with you guys there's actually only two tickets left so if you're from Melbourne and you're free on March 3rd I am holding my first ever event called Clay With Me. It's going to be such a beautiful afternoon where we glaze mugs together. Tickets basically include a fully catered Italian feast. I'm so excited about the food a beautiful selection of wines everybody will be able to glaze their own signature lolita mug so the ticket includes like a bisque lolita signature mug that's my mug with the big handle if you didn't know so you'll be able to paint your own designs on it and then get it fired and sent to you I have a few people flying interstate for the event so I really wanted to make sure that there was the option to be able to have your mug sent to you once you were done. There's also going to be a little Q&A type thing going on um, and yeah it's just going to be like a really wholesome evening with the best bunch of people. So I'll leave the link to it down below. Um, you can just purchase a ticket through my website and I'm going to vlog the whole event for the people who can't make it. I've already had hundreds of DMs being like, can you do one on the Sunshine Coast? Can you do one in Sydney, in Europe somewhere? I really, really want to. I feel like this event is going to make me want to do more anyway. So I'm actually flying to Melbourne at the end of this month. I'll be there quite a few days before the event and then quite a few days after just to document the whole process for you guys. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the first small business diaries back and I'll see you very soon.